Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining us. Today we'll be listening to uh, an amazing presentation um, put together by the Rathor brothers in India, and it's a Bija Mantra clearing, and it's pretty special actually. Um, also, they've actually granted us all to uh, use it on our online meditation programs. So, yay, thank you so much. Jay Shramataji. So, that will be running for about 15 minutes, and uh, then we'll pause for a couple of minutes and then listen to this morning's talk. But first, let's all collectively bow down in front of Shramataji, raise our Kundalini, and put ourselves into Bandhan. Shri 
Sri Ganesha, please be kind and merciful and forgiving that you manifest within ourselves. Let all these hypocritical things, all these conditionings and all these wrong ideas we have or the wrong life we have had just disappear like thin air and let the beautiful moonlight of your soothing qualities of innocence be manifested through us. Jai Um, so for this next part, it's the uh, Bija Mantras. Uh, it's a different way that has been done. And uh, you can either participate and sing along um, or just keep your attention at Sarasra. Keep your attention on Muladhar Chakra. This chakra has four petals and the beach mantra of this chakra is Lam. So, we will pronounce four times Lam. First, we will pronounce Om, then four times Lam. Om. Now, we will keep our attention on Swadhisthan Chakra. This chakra has six petals and the Bij Mantra of this chakra is Vam. So, we will pronounce six times Vam. First, we will pronounce Om, then six times Vam.
अब अपना चित्र नाभि चक्र पर केंद्रित करेंगे इस चक्र का बीज मंत्र रम है और इसकी दस पंखुड़िया हैं। अतः हम दस बार रम का उच्चारण करेंगे पहले हम ओम का उच्चारण करेंगे उसके बाद दस बार रम का उच्चारण करेंगे नाउ वी विल कीप और अटेंशन और नाभि चक्र दिस चक्र हैज टेन पैटल्स एंड द बीज मंत्र ऑफ दिस चक्र इज रम सो वी विल प्रोनाउंस टेन टाइम्स रम फर्स्ट वी विल प्रोनाउंस ओम देन टेन टाइम्स रम अब अपना चित्र हृदय चक्र पर केंद्रित करेंगे इस चक्र का बीज मंत्र यम है और इस चक्र की बारह पंखुड़िया हैं। अतः हम बारह बार यम का उच्चारण करेंगे सबसे पहले हम ओम का उच्चारण करेंगे फिर हम बारह बार यम का उच्चारण करेंगे नाउ वी विल कीप आवर अटेंशन ऑन हार्ट चक्र This chakra has 12 petals and the beach mantra of this chakra is yam so we will pronounce 12 times yam first we will pronounce om then 12 times yam
अब अपना चित्त विशुद्धि चक्र पर केंद्रित करेंगे इस चक्र का बीज मंत्र हम है और इस चक्र की सोलह पंखुड़िया हैं अतः हम सोलह बार हम का उच्चारण करेंगे सबसे पहले ओम का उच्चारण करेंगे उसके बाद सोलह बार हम का उच्चारण करेंगे नाउ वी विल कीप आवर अटेंशन ऑन विशुद्धि चक्र दिस चक्र हैज सिक्सटीन पैटल्स एंड द बीज मंत्र ऑफ दिस चक्र इज हम सो we will pronounce 16 times hum first we will pronounce om then 16 times hum अब अपना चित्त आज्ञा चक्र पर केंद्रित करेंगे इस चक्र की दो पंखुड़िया हैं इस चक्र का बीज मंत्र ओम है और बीज अक्षर हम शम है अतः हम पहले बीज मंत्र का उच्चारण करेंगे और फिर बीज अक्षर का जिस प्रकार हम हर बीज मंत्र के पहले ओम का उच्चारण करते आए हैं उसी प्रकार पहले ओम का उच्चारण करेंगे उसके बाद दो बार बीज मंत्र का उच्चारण करेंगे नाउ वी विल कीप आवर अटेंशन ऑन आज्ञा चक्र दिस चक्र हैज टू पैटल्स द बीज मंत्र ऑफ दिस चक्र इज ओम एंड द बीज अक्षर इज हम शम सो फर्स्ट वी विल प्रोनाउंस ओम देन टू टाइम्स बीज मंत्र जक्षर हम शम का उच्चारण करेंगे पहले हम ओम का उच्चारण करेंगे और फिर बीज अक्षर का नाउ वी विल प्रोनाउंस बीज अक्षर फर्स्ट वी विल प्रोनाउंस ओम देन 
हम शम अब अपना चित्त शस्त्रार चक्र पर केंद्रित करेंगे इस चक्र का बीज मंत्र ओम है और इसकी एक हजार पंखुड़िया हैं। अतः हम एक बार ओम का उच्चारण करेंगे नाउ वी विल की और अटेंशन ऑन शस्त्रार चक्र दिस चक्र हैज वन थाउजेंड पैटल्स एंड द बीज मंत्र ऑफ दिस चक्र इज ओम so we will pronounce one time om ab hum thodi der ke liye dhyan mein baithenge Now we will sit in meditation for a while. so the negativity cannot enter into ether so when you enter into your ethereal zone you actually enter into the area which is thoughtless of web so to achieve your ethereal state you have to expand your thoughtless awareness and the sustenance of that is done by christ by the spirit so you can realize now as a yogi your state of mind should be ethereal and what should be the state of your super ego this is the ego part of it that you should be in ethereal state and as a super ego you should see it as a play you should see the play of the negative negativity will run away but don't get involved into it play into their hands then the negativity will separate from you so the ego and super ego both rise from the vishuddhi chakra they can be preceded by the agya chakra but are to be sucked in the vishuddhi the greatest quality of yogeshwara is that he is not at all involved in it the plus grand that absolutely if he eats his food he does not eat it if he speaks he does not speak if he sees he does not see if he hears he does not hear 
it has no effect on it, no retention on it, no action on it. Whatever he is, he is complete. Sixteen petals is complete moon. Sixteenth day of the moon is the Purnima. That is how one has to be complete in oneself, complete confidence in oneself. But the confidence should not be confused with ego. But confidence is complete wisdom, is complete dharma, it is complete love, complete beauty, and is complete God. That's what it should be. Now when he said that you give up all your dharmas and surrender to Me in Gita, what he was meaning? that all other things about which you are worried, you give up and become one with Me, so I look after you, give up the responsibility to Sri Krishna. No. So the complete integrated divinity will start expressing through you. Means if you say that you have to be responsible, then he says, all right, go ahead, start. But if you say that you are responsible, I'm just an institution or an instrument in your hands, then you start manifesting it well. And that is how your Vishuddhi chakra gets opened up. This is some part of the Yogeshwara I have spoken to you. But as He is the brain within us, He becomes the brain within us. We have to know all the qualities of a Divine brain are within. So whatever we do with our brain, like intrigue, thieving, All which are bad things by your brain, you can call it, are done by him for the divine purpose without getting any blemish upon himself. And the other side of it, whatever we do, so called positive, like politics, uh, like uh, diplomacy, uh, uh, like uh, leadership. All that is his own doing, like even the thinking of the future and all that he does for us, planning, thinking, all those things, administration, as a play. Everything is done as a play because he is the master, as we call as a sutradhara, the one. Who, who does the prologue in a drama, the one who plays with the strings, uh, with the uh, pantomimes. Now the other thing that we have to understand, Sri Krishna, at this stage of Sahaja Yoga, that it is the Virata Shakti that is manifesting at this time, and not the Sri Krishna Shakti which was at His time. And the power that is working here is no more that of Radha or of uh, Mary, but of Viratangana. That's why the knowledge of Sahajogis is much wider than the knowledge of all the saints of ages. But is not a deeper than that. If you can deepen your knowledge, this wider knowledge will have proper roots within you. So the brain is are the roots. Here are the roots of the whole tree of life. Actually, Kundalini comes up and waters the brain first, so that the whole tree of life is 
drenched in the divine bliss and divine knowledge. So this Virata Shakti that we have to work out gives us the sense of collective consciousness first. First we understand it through our brain power. But the whole brain power is to be guided by the heart, is to be watered. But in Sanskrit is a very beautiful word, sinchana, like dewdrops, sprayed with the love of God. So the integration of this brain has to take with heart and with your liver. Then only the Virata Shakti takes another form. The weapons of killing become the weapons of forgiveness. Every sort of destructive power is used for the construction, as if it is tricked. Like now I told them a trick, how to trick these gurus. The power that they have can be tricked against them. As he said that their teeth must be put into their necks, into their throats. Instead of taking out their teeth, better put them back into their own throats. And if you can do that, then there is no problem as far as their effect on us is concerned, because we are more powerful and more tricky. Because the Virata Shakti has now taken that form. Like the tree, when it grows, it grows upward. But when it is laden with fruit, it comes down. First it is attractive by its flowers, by its timber, by its uh, other, uh, all other parts of its uh, body. And people try to destroy it for it. But when the fruits appear, they want to preserve it. And the, and the tree bends down. Its humility is very valuable. So you are the fruits, that Viratangana Shakti, you are the fruits. Because you are so valuable that those people who wanted to ruin or to destroy the divine power from this earth will start thinking that they have to gain something out of these fruits. So today the Virata Shakti has given you a great value. Because people see that by having one Sahaja Yogi with them, it is so precious. Say one ordinary man gets his realization, then he develops his value. In that, his own value, he can be respected, loved, and given the highest if he is a proper Sahaja Yogi. So you should understand today that Virata Shakti is, we are going to worship that Virata Shakti which has given fruits. As a result of that all these uh, different churches and fanaticism and atheism and communism and all that ism, all these will neutralize because they will see their benefit. But you have to become that. That is the biggest thing one has to know, is to bend down towards the Mother Earth, to be humble. Absolutely the humility inside, out, is really going to give you the complete value of Sahaja Yoga. We'll leave that there and um, just go into silent meditation.
Thank you so much, G. We'll take the last verse of the three great mantras. Om Twameva Sakshat Shri Kalki Sakshat Shri Sahasraswamini Moksha Pradaini Mataji Shri Nimala Devi Namu Namaha Thank you all for joining us and sharing your beautiful vibrations today. When you're ready to finish your meditation, please bow down in front of Shumataji, raise your Kundalini and put yourself into Bandhan. Have an absolutely wonderful day ahead everybody. Jai Shumataji.
Just your